and a hidey ho to you. Interpersonal communication. We're still stuck in chapter three, but uh, you, you know what? Let's finish it. Let's do that. Let's do that. Oh, oh, all this time, all this time, we've been toying with the million dollar question. How do we get along with? How do we communicate with? How do we talk and listen to? How do, how do we coexist? with people that don't share our truth. We've explored truth. We really have. We really have. And now, now, let's put it all together. Really, let's put it all together. As we've been systematically going through this exploration, talking about the ways we come to truth, the, you know, the SDM formula, taking things in through our senses, decoding and deciphering it and making meaning, the dogmatic truth that's been handed to us lovingly or shoved down our throats. We've been exploring. We've even talked about the cure for dogma, that star model and grand exploration. Man, we, we've we been layering it in and, and joking and having fun and, and, and learning all at the same time. Now, let's answer the question. How, how can we possibly coexist with? communicate with, be in commune with, okay? share the commons with people that don't share our truth. Well, let's drop this in and take a sneaky peek. You want to just pause this thing and write it all down or get out? You want to just keep coming back to it? I don't know. That's up to you. That's up to you, but, but I'm going to tell you this. Let's start at the top and work our way down. The very first way that I can communicate with or coexist with people that don't share my truth is, if, is first and foremost, I need, to make, I, I, I need to make that a priority. I need to want to. Look at the word care. I need to care. All right? I need to want to. And, and make it a priority to be able to coexist, to be able to love one another, to be able to respect one another. I need to care. Without this, without it, without that at the top, you know, oh, forget about the rest. It's going to be a grand facade. It's going to be pseudo truth. It's going to be fake. All right, care, want it. Okay, desire, cohabitation with, you know, communion with, coexistence with people that don't share our truth. Yeah, yeah, care. Look at the next one on the list. We, we beat it, you know, pounding it in. Okay, um, man, oh, man, oh, woman, have an open mind. If you... If you say no, I will not have an open mind, uh, forget about the rest of the list. Forget about the test. Just go, just go, you know, be your rock hard, slinky self. Okay? Have an open mind. Don't forget about the open mind. New stuff has to get in. It has to jiggle it around, process it, you know. New stuff comes in during the explore phase of the star model, please. Okay? More importantly, old stuff has to fall out. We have to unlearn some things. We have to unlearn some things. Okay? Boy, I'm sure glad I did. Okay? And y'all know what I'm talking about. All right. Care. Have an open mind. Take a sneaky peek at that next one. Don't forget, there's more than one right answer. There's more than one right... What? Yeah, there's more than one right answer. We've talked about this since we talked about the black dot. Since some people saw hockey pucks. And some people saw the top of a tornado looking down. The wind began to whip the house. <laughs> Uh, I don't know why I do that. Hi. Some people saw an Oreo cookie. I like saying cookie. I don't know why. But, I can't.
can't point at the hockey puckers and say, you're wrong. You just see it a different way. Thank God people see things a different way. Or nothing would ever get done. There'd be no invention. There'd be no creation. If I'm a, if I'm a business owner, I want to surround myself. I want to surround myself with people that see it differently than I do. And I'll get them all at a table. I get them all at a big table. And I go around the room. I want different ideas, different moments, di different things that they create and imagine. <laughs> Here's the device that holds 10,000 songs. Right? There's more than one right answer. All right? Don't try that in math class. All right, take a sneaky peek at the next one. <clears throat> because there's more than one right answer, they, they, they get their truth. They get their truth. They've, they've experienced different things than you. We've talked about this. They have different, you know, taste buds. They, they, have, they, have, they have different ways of thinking. All right? They have different expectations, etc. Okay? So when they form a truth based on those experiences, based on their own senses, okay? How can you look at them and say, oh, you can't think that way? No, 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 no. They get to have their truth. Like their fingerprints sometimes, you know? They get to have their truth. You cannot take it away. You cannot subtract it. And you cannot say, oh, you're wrong. Okay? All right. Um, uh, he here's one. If you don't want to get into fights out in the comments, and if you don't want it to be like this, understand that, that you need to first and foremost recognize your own dogma, the stuff that you can't defend, the stuff that you can't say, well, uh, you know, I've done all the research and I've looked into this and I've looked, no, it's recognize your own dogma and don't argue based on that dogmatic truth. Don't feel it in yourself. The fact that you may be, you may be filled with dogma. Other people's truth that they have handed you that you can't defend. Other than saying it's just what I believe. Okay? When, when, when the conversation turns into a screaming match and you're screaming based upon your dogmatic truth, stop it. And then re-examine the dogma. Look at the next one. Re-examine the dogma using the star model. Use the star model. Go on a great exploration once you sense that there's some things you don't even know that you don't even know. Go explore for real. Okay? And, and then you get to create your own truth by yourself, for yourself. And then you get to judge that, yay, nay, yay, against your heart of hearts, your inner core, your values, your, your, your absolute moralities. You get to judge that new truth based on that inner core, your heart of hearts. Once you do that and align the truth, to your inner core, then you better act accordingly. You better act accordingly. But in a discussion, not an argument, a discussion out in the commons, then, then you have those, then you have those facts. You have you have the research. You have your findings in your great explore. And you get to tell somebody, look, this is what I found. And this is really a great fit for me and my inner core. Now, how, how, can anybody, how can anybody go, no, it's not? Now they can't. This is, this is, it's beautiful. It's, oh, oh, it's, it's beautiful. All right. Take a, a sneaky peek, please. Uh, understand this. Competitive plausibility. Will you, will you remember it for a while? Promise me, promise me, you'll remember the concepts of competitive plausibility for, oh, I don't know, oh, the next 90 years, please. 90 years, all right? 
if two theories collide, if they compete, but there's really no proof for either of the theories, okay? We, we, we can't point at them and say they're wrong. We, we can't look down the aisle and say, ignorant, ignorant, I'm the only one that's right. We just, we have to admit that they're as plausible as mine. Doesn't mean you, doesn't mean you can't say, I, I like mine, I'm going to stick with it. No, stick with it, okay? Or go explore and find out if that aligns with who you really are, okay? But you can't look down the line and say you're wrong, therefore you're less than human, therefore easier to kill. Come on, campers, you, you know me. I'm going to offer another book title for you right now, another book title called The Faces of the Enemy. The Faces of the Enemy. And, and, and if you read that book, you'll see how we have demonized every enemy, every enemy, so that they were easier to kill. True story. Now, now, take a look at the list because we got to keep uh, we got to we got to keep going here. Maybe I would underscore this one as one of the most important on the list. Random order, I know. I just vomited it up here. Listen, key in on shared experiences. Find out what you have experienced that you have in common. In the great schema of things, instead of making it a win-at-any-cost argument, okay, instead of having that be your undergirding scenario, why don't you come uh, in, into a scenario where you get to get along with people, okay, even though you don't share their truth? All right, all right, and I don't know. Oh, here's a story for you. I'll tell you a story, an example of keying in on shared experiences, shared feelings, shared moments, the things we have in common. All right? I'm going to school. I mind my own business. Okay? I have this buddy named Omar. We've talked about Omar before. Okay? We're both at the Zoo of M, giant school, big, big, giant school. We're, 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 we're both there. And honestly, trust me, the guy couldn't have had more different truth than me. How do I get along? How do I coexist with him? Well, we easily found some things we had in common. Okay? We did. First of all, he came from Bahrain. I came from Minnesota. <laughs> Burr. Okay, so... I'm living in Minnesota. He comes from Bahrain. We end up at the U of M. And, and honestly, quite frankly, different people, different truth. But for instance, we were both homesick. We both missed our families. All right? We had, we had that in common. We valued family. And we missed them. All right? So trust me when I say it, what you need to do sometimes is you need to key in on those shared experiences. All right? Like, like, we both wanted desperately to find a girlfriend. <laughs> True story. Okay? Oh my. God, he was so much better at it than I was. Oh, oh man, oh man. But, but that's true. We, we had some things in common. All right, all right. Take a look at this next one because uh, it's important too. Sooner or later, I got to know Omar. I did. I got to know Omar. And sooner or later, I, I became really good at encoding in a way as to not upset him. Now, we're going to talk way more about this in chapters 4 and 5 when we talk more about those trigger words, but we've already talked about them, so listen. I know Omar now, okay? So in an argument or a discussion or in a moment where two truths collide, I have to, if I value the friendship, 
and I value the relationship, I must, absolutely must encode in a way not to be offensive to him because then it's going to end up to be a screaming match based on emotion instead of intellect. Okay? <laughs> it's a true story. I got to know him really well. I made a few mistakes early on, like, you know, offering him... Oh, oh sorry. Oh, earthquake, earthquake. Uh, you know, offering him uh, uh, food, drinks during Ramadan, you know. And even when, even when I knew better, I tried to give him a piece of gum. He goes, Joseph, seriously, come on, come on. Gum, okay. Learn, 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 and encode properly, okay? Man, I tell you what, uh, that could, that, 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 that list, that list, where you realize that some people see an old lady, some people see a young lady, remember that? Remember that moment in class? And, and all I need to do is show them patiently Show them patiently what I see, okay? There's more than one right answer, you know? Don't argue on talking. Look at the list. Look, look at the list, okay? Check it out. We have been taught by society, by our world, that there are winners and everyone else called a loser. We've been told... We've been taught, it's been modeled that there are winners and losers. And if you think like me, you're a winner. And if you don't, what a loser. Here's the deal. Don't let that happen. Don't. You'll be crawling up over the dead bodies of your family and friends trying to be number one. Okay? It, it leads to a system where there's number none. All right? We are in it together. It's possible to coexist even if you don't share the same truths. So stop thinking that somebody has to win and somebody is going to lose. Stop pounding the table trying to win at all costs. Okay? Like lies. Sound bites. Partial truths. Shadowy illusions. Go back to Plato. You need to be enlightened. You, 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 you need, if you're going to be fully human, emancipated, free-thinking adults, you need to crawl to the edge of that cave and peer out, become enlightened, peer back in, and be the agents of change. Okay. Fix it. Fix it. I'm going, to tell you, I'm going to tell you like I'm sitting here, but that's what this country needs. All right? All right, campers. It's a million-dollar answer. All right? I say, I say all right a lot. All right, campers. All right. All right. Keep your stick on the ice. You know I'm rooting for you. All right? Oh, I said it again. Those things have to those things have to drive y'all crazy, okay? Oh I, I say okay a lot too. And and campers. <laughs>